Welcome to first step of your winter adventure. Thank you for booking with us at Three Bear Lodge. We look forward to meeting you and showing you the unique environment that Yellowstone is. You're gonna watch this video because you're gonna be traveling through Yellowstone by snowmobile. So this video, we're going to introduce to you how to operate a snow machine if you've never done one before. So first thing we wanna do is we're gonna explain the cockpit and how everything works. When you sit down on your machine, the first thing is, is that you're gonna notice that you've got a key tag. This key tag is attached to the fob here. This will already be done for you when you pick up your the machine the first day. When you get into the park, if you, take, if you leave your machine, take the key with you. Just remember that the keys are programmed to the specific machines. So you wanna match up the key number on the key fob to the number that is on your snow machine. To plug this in, you just simply take and slip that right over the knob on the right hand side. Next thing is, is your kill switch. In order for the snow machine to operate, your kill switch needs to be pulled up. So it's this red square button here on the side. I just simply pull it up on top and then to stop the machine, I simply push down on it and that will uh, that will stop the machine from idling. Moving over here to the left, we have handlebar warmers and throttle warmers on here. Uh, temperature here can fluctuate quite a bit. We want to make sure that you're warm, that you're comfortable. So we've got handlebar warmers on the snow machines. One warning about using the handlebar warmers is try not to go too hot too fast. Um, what happens a lot of times is people put their, their handlebar warmers all the way up and then their hands get hot and sweaty and then their hands get cold and they're fighting that for the rest of the day. And we have it for both driver and passenger on our double riding machines. For the drivers here, you're gonna push the button up and as you push this button up, if you look at the display, you're going to see that it will, will show you how high or how low your handlebar warmers are. The one on the left has the icon for the handlebars. The one on the right controls the throttle warmer. Now, once you're on your machine, and you're ready to go, what you want to do is have both hands on the handlebars and then you're going to take the throttle and you're going to just ease into that throttle gently until you begin to move. Obviously the harder you push the throttle the faster you're going to go but your guide is going to dictate a lot of times what that speed is. On the other side, on the left hand side, we have the brake and again the same thing here with the brake is when you need to stop quickly you can go ahead and grab onto that brake they can be pretty sensitive and you need to be careful about locking up the tracks and sliding. A lot of times grabbing a fistful of brake isn't the best way to do it. In order to, to slow down more steadily, you can also just slow down comfortably by just letting off the gas and, or decreasing your speed that way instead of having to work the brake and the gas all the time. In order to start the machine, we want to again have your kill switch up and then over here on me, the left hand side, we have the orange button. I'm gonna press that orange button for a few seconds. And that starts the machine. When you're driving, when you're operating, obviously that needs to happen. When you pull over, go ahead and hit the kill switch on the side and shut your machine off so that we're not idling while you're standing there talking. That pretty much does it for the controls. So again, when you're driving, you wanna have both hands on the, on the handlebars. When I'm going to turn to the left, I want to pull with my left hand towards me while I push with my right hand and be careful that when you do that remember that you've got your throttle here don't grab it and accelerate into speed that you can't control so pull with your left hand push with this but be mindful of your throttle same thing when you're turning to the right I'm gonna pull with my right hand push with my left hand and then if I need to use the brakes I can but use both hands when you are steering with them. From the back end, we'll show you here that the, how the controls work. You have the, the middle of the toggle is off. If you pull the toggle towards the back end of the snow machine, that's gonna be low. And if you push it towards the front of the machine, that's gonna be high. So as far as the operation of the machine goes, that's pretty much everything that we've got. Now, as far as when you're out on the trail riding, some things to keep in mind and to remember. Uh, first of all, it's really important that you understand that anytime you're on a groomed trail, there is gonna be a speed limit. And there are law enforcement officers on all the trails 
that are in the area and so if you are speeding on the trails you will get cited just the same that you do for a speeding violation in an, in an automobile so make sure that whenever you are on the trails that you are following the speed limits uh, stay on the marked trails particularly important when you are in the park there are areas outside of the park where you can go off trail uh, those signs will be designated as on the map and signs on the trail will designate when you can do that but maintain but you want to make sure that you're staying on marked trails as much as possible when you're driving you want to make sure that you are keeping a safe distance between you and the driver in front of you usually we tell you that we want to have about two snowmobile lengths between you and the driver in front of you that gives you enough time to react if you if they suddenly stop or to either stop or get your get out of the way with them weather awareness again be aware that weather can change quickly we can have all four seasons in a day up here in montana and so just be prepared to bring extra layers to either put on or take off. A day pack is a great thing to bring with you or else a lot, some of our machines have storage compartments on the back that you're welcome to use as well. Remember that you always need to ride single file. Uh, you should never ride two abreast on any of the trails in or out of the park. Communication is gonna be really important. We're gonna come back and talk about how to do that with hand signals and communication in, in just a minute. Make sure that you're not consuming drugs or alcohol while operating the machines. Uh, it's illegal, so just don't do it. And then also make sure that you are respecting the wildlife. Uh, you have the opportunity here to have some once in a lifetime, very unique adventures and encounters with wild animals. Remember that they are wild, they are not domesticated. So when you're on your machine, make sure that you stay calm, you stay quiet. Uh, should you feel like you need to get off of your machine for your own safety, go ahead and do so, but just step off of the machine and position the machine between you and the buffalo. Do not leave your machine to walk away from it or anything else. Stay close to your machine to protect you when you're doing that. Be prepared for anything else that might happen. Extra water is always a good thing to bring with you, first aid kits, some communication devices if you, if you have them. Extra snacks with you are always a good idea too. And also before you leave, then make sure that you are familiar with how to contact help should you need it. Again, if you're going in the park, your guide will have this for you. If you go out of the park, make sure that you know how to contact us or to get help. And also remember that you have our 800 number here on the key tag, so you can always call us for help if you need to. Now, back to hand signals. Hand signals are important to communicate to other people what your intentions are, both for oncoming traffic and for people who are following you. So when we're doing this, we want to use basic hand signals. So if I'm going to turn to the right, I'm going to lift up my arm and point over my head that, hey, I'm turning to the right. If I want to go to the left, my arm is going to be straight out to the side. If I want to stop, I'm going to just put my hand up in a fist so that you know that we're going to stop. We're going to slow down, uh, hand will be open, and I'll be, we'll be waving it up and down like this so that you can know that you need to slow down for whatever might be coming up here. So keep that in mind. We're grateful and glad that you're coming to see us. We can't wait to see you. We look forward to meeting you and to helping you have a amazing once in a lifetime experience.